Can't wait to have you guys there. Can't wait to have you guys see this uh, whole uh, journey with me. And thank you so much, Old Schoolers, for your support, man. Let's keep this thing rocking. Let's keep it going. Let's do it this old school style. Let's do it for the wind style. For the damn wind style. Good old chicken asparagus. This is the, uh, well, I'm barely eating now, guys. This is my first meal, breakfast of champions. Mm, mm, mm. Doesn't get any better. At this point, it's so funny, guys, that food in general tastes so good because, you know, to get down and deplete yourself, you, you tend to be hungry often. So just regular food, any type of food, even diet food, I mean, um, tastes magnificent. It's so funny now that I slip right into these things. But like maybe six, seven, eight weeks ago, I was, I got in here and I had to like, like really struggle to get in these jeans. Now I slid right into them. <laughs> <laughs> slid right into that weight is small right now. Those legs shrunk a little bit, the fat. And the water got out of there. And uh, it's all good. What's up, old schoolers? And it, it is two days out, okay? And we're rocking, baby. We're feeling great. Depletion mode at, a, at its all time high. For you guys that are doing your shows out there, if you guys aren't feeling, it's just the name of the game, guys. If you aren't feeling uh, sometimes, you know, just low energy, just uh, not feeling the greatest, not a thousand percent, you're in your sweet spot. Name of the game in this business. If you guys out there have all the energy in the damn world, like a week out from your show, a couple days out from your show, uh, you did something wrong. We have weigh-ins tomorrow, at th Thursday morning. Uh, we're gonna deplete it down even more to make weight. We have about a couple more pounds to go, and then we'll be ready to rock and eat, maybe eat some pancakes after weigh-ins. Oh, you guys don't wanna miss that. is not working so I went to go get the ready-made one and I'm so focused right now guys so focused and so tunnel vision right that even five grams of carbs and five grams of sugar is what I don't want is what I'm gonna pass on so it comes down to the nitty and the gritty that much so we move on and now we're gonna get carb stuff some fun stuff all right let's enjoy this this, guys, this is what I've been doing for the last, I don't know, six, seven, eight weeks. It's just coming. I go to Whole Foods every day. You guys know that. And I'll just come and look. And I'll just come and admire. And I'll just come and salivate. Brownies. The though. goodness. All that chocolate. All that chocolate that's, that's all sopping in the middle. Jesus. And guys, just so you know, I guarantee you 99% of the competitors are doing the same damn thing. <laughs> I am not alone in this. Goodness, right here, goodness. All right. Oh. Raw almond butter. Nothing but almonds in, in this one, guys. I get a, I get a uh, clean one and a dirty one. That's really good. A little bit more sugar in there, more carbs in there. Yeah. So this is the dirty one. Honey almond butter. The dirty one. <laughs> Some people out there are probably like dirty. Yeah, yeah that ain't dirty. That ain't shit. Raspberries, blueberries. This sounds good to me. All righty. We found them. The carbon process is so so much fun, guys, because guys, I'm li literally gonna be eating maybe every 45 minutes to an hour. I ain't gonna say nothing about that. <laughs> we'll just look at you guys and say, hmm. Kidding me? Black and white butter cookie. Where do they come up with this stuff? Where do they, where do they get the, these flavors? Blueberry 
two days away from the big show and this is just a little pre-workout uh, meal here we're getting ready to go to the gym and get a good pump in nothing too crazy but when you're talking about Chris Cormier you can't rule all that out all the way guys so that's why I took a little bit of the pre vintage blast right to get amped up just a little bit because like I said you never know about that guy he's just intense all the way around First name, middle name, and last name is intense. So um, this is just chicken and asparagus. We're still doing no carbs, no fats, because we're um, just worried about making the weight tomorrow. We're not worried, but just we want to make weight tomorrow. Yeah. So this is my bitch's blast here, right? Because I try to cut down on some traveling bulkiness, that's all. What's key is that a lot of the competitors cut out artificial sweeteners guys before you know maybe a few weeks that definitely that week of the show you can still keep vintage blast in there your pre-workout because it's all natural um you know artificial colors and sweeteners um and all that good stuff right so that's what makes this so great that's what makes old school so great and the sup so great yes keep it old school baby this is my last workout i definitely know we're not going to be working out tomorrow posing eating relaxing is the name of the game tomorrow supposed to be posing doing a little relaxing and eating like that those three things are supposed to be all together every time I do it like every every hour of the day tomorrow hope you guys are enjoying I hope you guys are gonna continue to enjoy I know that all right guys we're gonna do a little bit pump push and pull push and pull type stuff working all the little body parts the little they sure feel little right now. We're gonna rock and roll, man. This is the last little push. It's here, baby. It is here, and let's rock. We got Chris Cormier here. What's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you always know that he's gonna bring some type of intensity to the show. Let's go, time to rock, baby. Blood in the muscles. We're really flat these days. You want to pump them up and keep them as full as you know you can, as full as possible in this uh, flattening out and in this drying out process. Okay. Let's go, Bree. dramatic guys when you feel a certain way <laughs> after this set you see me uh, like I'm dying <laughs> a little drama here hey listen it wouldn't be a fun without a little drama right it'll work it'll work too. it'll work baby oh Rock said it on the video on the Olympia, Olympia video he's like your body yeah. is dehydrated yeah, 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 yeah. and all that and it wants, it wants to die yeah it wants to die yeah <laughs> yeah it's telling you it's telling you to die all the, all the essentials are gone all oh, right <laughs> the water the fat right <laughs> I like how they put it though, you know, the yeah. pushing through and yeah, like, persevering and I like, like how they're there. That's what it's about. So yeah. That's how you feel up there. Absolutely. You, know, you got a little cards, but you feel it. I mean, you're the closest thing to death with living. Yeah, <laughs> true guys. Closest to, and with all this muscle, when, it wants when, continuous energy and you're not giving it. That's when you rely on the nutrition and all that stuff too, but that's what's the only thing holding you together. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> all the thing, all the, that's the only glue that we have right now. The only glue. Okay, this is the moment I've been waiting for, guys. It's dry, guys, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby? Is it good? Mm. Mm. Now, guys, we are gonna dip into this sweet potato. Slice it down the middle there. And you know, everything is gorilla style. But we're not pretty with any of it. We don't care about being pretty right now. We almost really don't care about being pretty ever during prep. The grind is real. And the grind is not always pretty. The plan is we go a little aggressive early on, guys, and then we tell it back as the later of the day goes. We're gonna put some almond butter, guys, on this rice and almonds. We're gonna like scoop it all together. That looks bad. Yeah. And just so you guys know, like this almond butter can go for me in, in two days, this jar. It takes me a little bit to chew it, guys, because um, I'm, I'm dry, no water, oh, it's still, little water still. Can I have a little sips of water? But I'm definitely not supposed to be guzzling any water. It's a little different sensation when you're not supposed to be drinking too much along with it. Who was your final weight? Um, 179.2 or 4. Well deserved, guys. I made, last year I was 180.2. I mean, uh, at the Arnold, I was 180.2. So I'm lighter this time. So I'm excited about that. Whole different look. Guys, whole different look. Bria, question. Yo. <laughs> Who is Mr. Olympia? I'm Mr. Olympia. Okay, okay, there you go. I'm standing here next to the classic physique champion, Breon Ansley. Breon, you defended, not you defended, you won the Olympia last year, you won the Arnold Classic this year. There's a lot of hype going into the main classic physique, but you had a champion and of course, a potential, two potential guys saying that they uh, probably can dethrone you, which is one of Miss Chris Bumstead and the other one, George Peterson. What does the champ say? First of all, I want to just back up a little bit and just tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys. And I just want you guys to know how important I know that you as fans and as supporters are to me and are, and I hope all of us really truly understand and know that and cherish that you know this is such a blessing to be up here i think you know we're all great competitors not taking anything away from those guys but 
like a lot of the um, guys said up here, Phil Heath is the champ for a reason. Uh, okay, and I truly believe I'm the champ for a reason. I've earned the right to uh, be called the champ. I work my tail off to uh, have a body that showcases it. And uh, I will bring my best yet uh, tomorrow. Very excited for you guys to see it. Is it a great back next to an amazing back? Is he gonna beat you in the back double biceps? I have to respectfully say no. Um, he has a great back, uh, but mine is uh, great as well. And uh, mine is improved. What's funny is that you better know that the champ is not gonna stay the same the next year. You know, he, he better improve. Uh, and that's what I've done. So, aside from having a, a great back, I think, a winning champion back, that back has improved as well. Wow. But since 2015, old schoolers. Yeah, since 2015. He's been, he's been in the sup, been using ourselves for a while, so. Yeah. This is a loyal old schooler right here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Now you look great, dude. Thank you. Let's be a champion. Gonna be two times. Yeah. We're gonna go get it. Thank you so much, brother. You're one of the few that's in a good mood, like this close. Oh, I know, brother. You know, I just, I, it's a testament to them, right? My parents, and brother, I, I, this doesn't have to be me, right? Sitting here, right? I don't have to be the one, I don't have to be the champion, right? I don't have to be that guy. Man, so, since it. I'm that guy, I'm very appreciative, and, 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 and I do what I can to. You be that guy, you know, and give to off give off the good, the, the, the good vibes energy. and the energy that's supposed to be given out. That's what it's I, supposed to be. How uh, the music you decide to go with? I, I know you know you want to go off of the energy. Yeah. Lots of you know hip hop. A lot of people do, but what oh, made no, you that's not go me. with? I started that with Sean Ray. Okay. Sean Ray. Um, really, Sean Ray was my biggest inspiration on music choices and posing. Like softer kind of music. Oh, where yes. you're dancing to yes. it? All the time. You make it look good. I gotta. You didn't like jump into no. like the kind of drama that they want. You know, like, like that was really, really nice of me. Because I see a lot of people like they don't realize they're being provoked. Yeah. And they just jump into like just a fight and they up, get up, and they and, and they get really like nervous. Like it's a lot of adrenaline. Not good for you at this moment. You no. Know, like, no. So relaxing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> time before we pump up. Pump up, eat, pump up, eat this stuff, pump up, relax, ready rock. We wanna we wanna funnel the all the carbs to the muscles right about now. So and look fuller up on stage. So that's the whole point of that. All oh, these months, let's go. This is it right here. Got this baby.
Spread out. Everyone take a step. Relax. 26 and 2 switch. 19 and 18 switch. Back up your bicep. Relax, relax, spread out please. Dominoes and thighs. Go! Go, Brian! Relax. Brian and George switch. Chris and Henry switch. Gentlemen, spread out, give yourself some elbow room. And hit a front double bicep. Side chest. Ooh. Your favorite classic pose. Ooh. Side chest. title in the Classic Physique Division. Take it away, Bob. All right, Brian, here with the now two-time Olympia champion. Much like the other classes, Brian, you had yourself a fight this morning at the pre-judging. Of course, Chris and George and the rest of the guys giving you all they had. But you came out victorious once again, my friend. Absolutely, man. I thank you guys so much. I love you guys, and I love your support. You guys are amazing. Um, you know, I'm not up here doing my thing without you guys. Uh, you guys are the driving force of us and of this sport and of the whole fitness, you know, and bodybuilding movement. So I love you guys to death. I appreciate you guys' support. And whenever you see me, man, give me a big hug. And uh, we'll smile together, man. What up old school, what up old school, we did it, old school style for the win style, and uh, I appreciate you old schoolers and your guys' support, I love you guys, okay, uh, to death you know that, 
you guys have seen this journey, you know, from since the beginning. I hope you guys have learned a little something, you know, on just the consistency and what it takes to kind of to do this and be at this level and to stay positive too, guys, right? Um, even though it was tough a lot of times to uh, stay positive and to have the, the right mentality and the right attitude to keep pushing through, we did it, all right? And so I hope you guys take that uh, also from, uh, you know, the journey that you saw me uh, going through and uh, you guys apply it to your uh, training and to your journey, all right? So thank you guys, love you guys, and to see you guys soon. When's the next meal? What is the next meal? Uh, I'm thinking steak and cheesecake, yeah. Steak, cheesecake. I might even throw pancakes in there. Who knows, right? <laughs> pancakes, cheesecake, steak. I think we'll, 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 uh, we'll, 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 we'll lock in on those three. And maybe even a margarita or two, who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Sweet pain, baby. Pancakes, baby. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Twenty more pancakes. <laughs> okay, guys. So we have Breon Ansley Black Swan Old School Lab shirts available now, twenty-five percent off, guys. Okay, at OldSchoolLabs.com/slash/merch. Get your merch. Get your Black Swan. Get your Old School. Go get them. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy.